हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर एंड कंपेरेटर्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर इन डिटेल एज वेल एज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंपेरेटर्स डिजाइन यूजिंग ऑप एम दैट इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर will discuss three op amp instrumentation amplifier from the exam point of view you may expect the question like this draw the circuit diagram of three op amp instrumentation amplifier and write the equation of output voltage so this is the diagram of three op amp instrumentation amplifier before that instrumentation amplifier as the name indicates is an amplifier it it is characterized by very high input impedance and very low output impedance in case of industries whenever it is required to monitor different parameters like temperature like humidity then instrumentation amplifiers are used so i have written two important points this amplifier amplifies low level output signal of transducer transducer is a device which converts physical quantity into electrical quantity for example if you want to monitor or give the indication of temperature then we will be using suitable transducer like rtd like thermistor and th this transducer is connected at the input side so it amplifies low level output signal of a transducer usually output of the transducer is very low so to amplify this signal this type of amplifiers are used as the name indicates this is three op amp instrumentation amplifier means we have to make use of three operational amplifiers so a1 a2 and a3 are three op amps three operational amplifiers out of this a1 and a2 it's very clear from the circuit diagram these are non inverting amplifier so i have written a1 and a2 are non inverting amplifier why because v1 and v2 are two voltages which are connected to the positive terminal as well as to this positive terminal of a2 so both these op amps acts as non inverting amplifier we have separately studied what is non inverting amplifier and we have also derived the out equation of output voltage for non inverting amplifier then the third op amp whatever i have drawn with red ink that is related to third op amp a3 is a difference amplifier we also studied difference amplifier as the name indicates it amplifies the difference of the input voltages that means whatever input voltages those are those are connected to negative and positive terminal of op amp that is to the inverting and non inverting terminal of op amp this a3 amplifier which is a differential amplifier will amplify the difference of these two input voltages so this combination i mean two non inverting amplifiers and one differential amplifier gives us the circuit diagram for three op amp instrumentation amplifier if you write if you want to write the advantages then uh, there are many advantages just now i mentioned it is having very high input impedance and very low output impedance so loading effect can be avoided then using a single resistor r2 this resistor is shown as a variable resistor or potentiometer using this single resistor r2 we can control the gain of instrumentation amplifier then another important characteristic is cmrr that is common mode rejection ratio is very large now it is also asked to write down the equation of output voltage so i have directly written the equation of output voltage v0 is 1 plus 2 r1 upon r2 this term this square bracket term indicates gain of instrumentation amplifier so 1 plus 2 r1 upon r2 into r4 upon r3 this is the equation of output voltage of this three op amp instrumentation amplifier next part is instrumentation amplifier ia interfaced with rtd bridge from the exam point of view we may expect the question like this draw and explain instrumentation amplifier interfaced with rtd bridge or draw the circuit diagram of instrumentation amplifier for the measurement of temperature using rtd one and the same thing this diagram is called a bridge circuit where we have shown four resistors 
R A R B R D and this resistance here we have shown R T D. R T D is resistance temperature detector. It is a transducer which converts temperature into resistance. This is R T D. Its resistance is denoted by R C plus delta R. Delta R indicates change in temperature, change in resistance. With respect to the change in temperature, मतलब जैसे जैसे temperature change होगा उस हिसाब से ये value delta R change हो जाएगा So accordingly, value, I mean resistance of this RTD which is denoted by RC plus delta R will change. Now, this RTD is having positive temperature coefficient. इसका ये मतलब है जैसे temperature बढ़ता है वैसे इस device का resistance increase होता जाएगा So this is having temp positive temperature coefficient there is one condition which is called balancing of a bridge so i have shown different resistors ra rb rd and rc plus delta r suppose delta r is zero matlab initially uh, delta r is zero and if you if we maintain the condition or if the condition is ra is equals to rb equals to rc is equals to rd means all these resistors are equal and delta r is zero then the bridge is said to be balanced and under balanced condition output of bridge is zero ab dekho ye jo is point ka jo output hai ye vb se denote kiya hai is point ka jo output hai yahan se jo connection le ye va se denote kiya hai so output of this is difference between these two voltages that is va minus vb or vab so if the bridge is balanced this is called a bridge this v indicates supply uh, given to this bridge and from these two points say this point is b i will mark this points this point is b and this point is a so from these two points from a and b we are taking the output like this so this is the connection so this point's voltage is va voltage at this point is vb so as i said the difference between these two voltages is vab so if the bridge is balanced means under these conditions when all resistors are equal and delta r is zero then bridge is balanced and under balanced condition output of bridge which is denoted by vab will be zero now this remaining diagram is same as the diagram of three op amp instrumentation amplifier only the connections are uh, drawn differently so a1 and a2 in this case are called unity gain buffer that means they are non inverting amplifier because look at the connection like the previous diagram this vb is connected to positive terminal of op amp a1 v is connected to uh, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal v a is connected to positive terminal of op amp as well as vb is connected to positive terminal of op amp so these two a1 and a2 are unity gain non inverting amplifier like the previous case then at the output we are using again same circuit which is the circuit of difference amplifier and as we discussed earlier that whatever output voltage that is available at this points uh, say at the output of a1 and a2 the difference of this amplifier will be amplified difference of these two will be amplified by using this difference amplifier a3 now whenever the temperature changes ye pehla part ho gaya whenever there is a normal temperature like room temperature we will be having some value of resistance of rtd we will manage all these resistance equal to the same value and at that point bridge will be balanced output will be zero this is one condition if if the temperature changes than the set value or than the reference value then this resistance of rtd will change that means delta r will not be zero this resistance will be rc plus delta r in that case vab will not be zero you will be getting some voltage uh, as the voltage vab this voltage is applied to this two uh, non inverting amplifiers unity gain non inverting amplifiers these two amplifiers are acting as a buffer 
input impedance as we discussed right now input impedance is very very high output impedance is very very low so these two amplifiers are acting as a buffer then this output of these two amplifiers is given to this difference amplifier and accordingly this voltage will be amplified so this gives us an indication of the uh, temperature now you can well connect any meter at the output so that you can get the display of the corresponding temperature at the output side so this is how instrumentation amplifier can be interfaced with rtd bridge this is the rtd bridge earlier diagram is very much equivalent to the uh, previous diagram this diagram is very much equivalent to the earlier diagram of 3 op amp instrumentation amplifier now Look at the equations. VA, VA is voltage at this point, this point voltage which is connected to this point A. This voltage can be written as, we know the voltage division formula. Formula is supply voltage into that resistance, just across some long voltage calculate karna hai, divided by addition of resistance. We have already discussed in earlier videos. So this point voltage VA will be equals to V, that is supply voltage into RV. RV is this resistance divided by RA plus RB. Same way VB is voltage at this point, it is V that is supply voltage into RD, RD is this resistance across which we are supposed to measure RB divided by RD plus RC plus delta R. Now we discussed when bridge is balanced then VA and VB are equal, so VA minus VB is 0. So final equation of the output of this uh, amplifier that means this output voltage V0 is minus RF upon R1 into VAB. VAB is this voltage and these are unity gain followers or unity gain non-inverting amplifiers. So uh, this VAB remains same. Uh, I mean this voltage will not be uh, amplified because these are unity gain amplifiers. So at this point again you are getting same voltage VAB and that will be applied to the difference amplifier. So this is the equation of final output voltage minus RF by R1 into VAB. Next is comparator. First we will discuss inverting comparator. As the name indicates, comparator is the circuit which compares the two voltages. Now for the comparison, we need one standard reference value that is denoted by VREF, V reference. This is DC value. As shown in this diagram, we are discussing inverting comparator. So this V in input voltage, which is to be compared with reference value, this V in is applied to inverting terminal through some resistance R. This point's voltage is denoted by V2. As I said, for the reference purpose, you need to apply certain DC uh, voltage, that is V reference, that is reference voltage. This reference voltage is a DC value, DC voltage, which is connected to positive terminal of op amp. Since input voltage, that you want to compare with V reference is connected to negative terminal, it is inverting comparator. Now the difference between these two voltages, this is voltage V1, this is voltage V2, the difference between these two voltages is Vd, that is V1 minus V2. But we know that in case of ideal op amp, input resistance is very very large, so inside the op amp, whatever bias current is flowing, that is almost zero, so I have written V in is same as V reference that means this voltage V in very small amount of current will be flowing through this R1 so V1 will be same as V reference V2 will be same as V in so Vd that is difference voltage which is V1 minus V2 is same as V reference minus V in now see two conditions yaad rakhne hai. Uh, ek V reference hum log use kar rahe. Ek input voltage hai. this input voltage is changing so whenever First, I will discuss about this graph. Ye jo v in ka graph hai. This is a sinusoidal voltage. This is AC voltage. V reference, matlab ye jo red ink se maine line bana hai, dotted line. This is the value of V reference, which is a constant level. Ab dekho. If V in is less than V reference, matlab jab ye input voltage kam hai, V reference ke comparatively, then in that case, this voltage is less compared to positive voltage. Only remember two conditions. Whenever voltage at positive terminal of op amp is larger than negative terminal, output will be plus V saturation. Another case, 
if voltage at negative terminal of op amp is more than positive terminal output will be minus v saturation so if v in is less than v reference v in less than है v reference से मतलब v reference ज़्यादा है मतलब positive का voltage ज़्यादा है so output v zero will be plus v saturation another case if v in is greater than v reference v in ज़्यादा है मतलब negative का voltage ज़्यादा है तो output will be minus v saturation look at this diagram जैसे मैंने बताया ये v reference reference signal है this is input voltage इस portion में मतलब यहाँ से यहाँ तक इस पोर्शन में इन दिस पोर्शन v in is less than below v reference v is in v in is less than v reference look at the condition v in is less than v reference output voltage will be plus v saturation ये v saturation का level है plus v saturation so output voltage will be like this up to this point अब यहाँ से यहाँ तक देख लो so यहाँ से यहाँ तक up to this point v in is more than v reference if it is more than v reference then output is minus v saturation तो ये minus v saturation का level है मतलब यहाँ से signal ऐसा आएगा फिर minus v saturation तक रहेगा फिर से इस portion में देखो v in becomes less than v reference when v is less than v reference you are getting plus v saturation तो यहाँ से फिर से plus v saturation आएगा likewise the cycle repeats this is inverting comparator there is one variation in this which is called zero crossing detector मतलब make the thing simple if I will remove this R and V in, if I will directly connect it to the ground, that means this V reference, sorry, this input voltage will be as it is, input voltage will be as it is and only we will make change in V reference. Suppose I will make V reference is equal to 0. In that case, input will be compared with 0 value, but the dotted line is here, this V reference. Next part is non-inverting comparator. It is very much similar to the inverting comparator. Only connections are interchanged. Means it is non-inverting comparator. So input is applied to positive terminal of op amp. V reference that is reference voltage. Just के साथ हमें compare करना है वो voltage DC voltage is applied to negative terminal of op amp through some resistance R1. This is say resistor R. Now, like the previous case, this point's voltage is V1, this voltage is V2. So, Vd gives us difference between V1 and V2. Now, again, remember two conditions. It is very much similar to the earlier case. If V in is greater than V reference, look at the connection. V in is connected to positive terminal, that is non-inverting terminal. Do you condition shayad rakhna hai? Agar positive ka voltage jada hai, to plus V saturation output mein aega. Negative voltage jada hai, negative terminal ka voltage jada hai, to output mein minus V saturation aega. So, if V in is greater than V reference, matlab positive ka voltage jada ho jayega, compared to negative, so output will be plus V saturation. Second condition, V in is less than V saturation. ये less than है मतलब negative का value ज़्यादा है तो output will be minus V saturation this diagram is same as the previous diagram इस portion में देखो मतलब zero से लेके इस portion तक in this portion V reference I mean V in is less than V reference क्योंकि इसके नीचे V reference के so V in is less than V reference output is minus V saturation तो ये वाला output आ जाएगा इस point के आगे यहाँ से आगे V in will be greater than V reference like this up to this point. So V in is greater than V reference. Output will be plus V saturation. मतलब यहाँ से या output ऐसे आ जाएगा. फिर से ये कम हो जाएगा तो यहाँ से signal ऐसे आ जाएगा. So the waveform will continue. It is exact replica opposite to that of the earlier waveform. So this is non-inverting comparator. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.